the post up, but Medvedenko takes the shot. Bryant with the rebound. Medvedenko wide open. Bryant now played by Turgalo. Bryant for Medvedenko. Well, the Medvedenko on the floor. At a hear hat vote, Errol. Dennis Rodman, aki azt nyilatkozta Férek című könyvében, hogy ő bizony sokkal ebben játszik, akkor ha átmulatja az éjszakát. Ahí tenemos a Kobe Bryant. And that one stolen away from Steve Smith. Rush trying for another three. Medvedenko on the offensive glass and puts it back up and in. Well, what shot that right? one like an old man? But Kevin Willis <laughs> at garbage time has eight points in the game. Miscalculated the distance from the basket that time, and Medvedenko comes up shooting. He has four. Get this crowd fired up. Here he is, and he dishes it underneath. Tim Evidenko and whistle. A late whistle on Tim Duncan here. That's two on Duncan. Popovich up against it. Evidenko does a nice job cutting. Nice little pass underneath Duncan's arm and yep, fall through, got him. So Evidenko, who didn't score in the last game, hasn't played that much. His, probably his biggest night of the year was opening night against Portland. He had 15 points and nine rebounds, and he steps to the line. The problem if you take Duncan out, thinking you're going to save him and not pick up his third foul, is that you lose all your momentum because he is playing so brilliantly on the offensive end, and Duncan just has to play more concession defense, and not try to do anything on the edge on the defensive end. So Medvedenko with the free throw now. He and Fisher with four points. Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal have the rest. Yeah. And Shaquille's hip. Oh, Bowen. Oh, your eyes on the ball. Shaw out to Medvedenko on the baseline. O'Neal another rebound. Dishes back to him. Got it. What a passer. What a rebounder. Shaquille O'Neal. Dominant Four time. 24 minutes left in the lane between the Pistons and the 76ers. And Medvedenko left wide open and took advantage. That's because Duncan had backed way off and he was trying to give Rose help. Rose is guarding Shaquille. The 76ers coverage is starting at 7.30. Here's an open shot for Medvedenko. So, Robin in front of him. Ginobili comes up hotly. Here's Pargo whipping to Medvedenko. And he is fouled. But the concern is Manu Ginobili. Pargo coming over on the shot as he banged into that knee. The Euro League Finals MVP. No problems that he had all season long. You know they worked on it and talked about it during the regular season. You know they've shot a ton of them. They just aren't going in for them. But it's been going in for Bepidenko. He's now three for three. There's one on three. And then Bryant to the rim. Bepidenko keeping it alive, and he is fouled. Slava Bepidenko has done a nice job at the, the offensive end. Slava in his third NBA season from the Ukraine, played professionally in the Ukraine and Lithuania before signing with the Lakers. The foul was called on Malik Rose, and you see Shaquille O'Neal getting set to check back in, as is David Robinson. That's it. Replaced by O'Neal. See five turnovers, only six rebounds for O'Neal. Jack with that rebound. Medvedenko. Slava Medvedenko with 11 points. Like a very confident shooter yeah, in that second. 525 remaining in the fourth. Lakers stay with Shaw and Pargo. In the backcourt is Bryant. And the Dinkers have a hot hand and hits again. Five for six.
13 points, a season high was 15. Kobe Bryant for the right hand corner, hits a second. Slava will be happy and satisfied for a two, but then Kobe comes right. Let's see if he backs in on Robinson. Nope, they'll bring it around the perimeter. Bowen doing a nice job of denying possession to Kobe Bryant. Gutsy shot by Medvedenko, just turned and wheeled on Rose, knocked it down. Oh, he can score, he, he can shoot. And he's a low he down there. Ruin his day. <laughs> Nine point lead now for San Antonio. Medvedenko's too open not to take it, and he knocks it down. The seven point San Antonio lead. Medvedenko hit the last shot for the Lakers. But on the other end, the Lakers come up with a foul. On the merchant, he's got to just let him go out there. Nice pass, Jack. To himself. And now Medvedenko. Stanislav Medvedenko, six in the corner for Slava. Which comes from an unexpected source again tonight. Slava Medvedenko, seldom used so many times during the season. In game five was absolutely magnificent. Pulling the trigger on perimeter jumpers time and time again. Spurs could not capitalize on his limitations inside. Tonight he's come through with the same type of contributions. Moving beautifully in the triple post offense and capitalizing on one of Phil Jackson's real strengths. Being ready when Phil Jackson calls the role players numbers from deep on the bench. I'm going to call on Michelle Tafoya right now. Michelle. Those guys who don't need help. Parker hits both free throws. 15 for Tony. Greg Popovich is getting that tonight. Nice job by Tanobu. Medvedenko outside. You've got to make him put it on the ground. If he just spots up and shoots it, he's going to make it. I and think Kevin McHale is probably the closest guy, but this guy is just unbelievable tonight. Magic, thanks. I hope you keep all those fingernails. Let's send it back to you, Brad. A very honest assessment by not only two. two. Medvedenko hits from the outside, and who knows, that might be the last Laker bucket to end the three champions later during the regular season. And with each round, it gets cut down. All the home teams winning. Medvedenko. That's what he does best. He's made the last six Houston turnovers, though. Credit that to transition defense. Nice um, pass. Shaquille O'Neal with a pretty three. Medvedenko finishes. And the Lakers back up by one. With as many as six in the first quarter, we've had one lead change and four ties. And a nice outside shot by Medvedenko. Interesting matchups now. This lead, uh, building on him up six. You don't want to dig yourself too big a hole. You don't score that many points. Medvedenko, who saw a lot of time early in the season when Shaq was out, gaining confidence. Kareem Rush had a couple big time three point shots in game one. Medvedenko with the fake on Taylor. Then the drive as he tried to chisel his way into that rocket defense. Well, you know, Jackson. Kevin, just to go back about Kareem Rush, when you think of the fourth quarter of that game the other night, the Lakers Eric Fisher, they don't win the game without those big threes. Three of those big threes by those two players. Phil Jackson understands that late in the game, he's going to need Kareem Rush on the floor because. Ed Videnko again. He only played eight minutes in game one, but because Shaq has had some foul problems, he's. Done a little bit more tonight. Six points all have come in this second quarter for Stanislav Medvedenko from the Ukraine. He has eight points. Malone's been the big man with 19. Medvedenko, he'll drive. And he will score. Defensive foul, three point attempt coming up, three point opportunity for Medvedenko, who again with that sore Achilles heel costing him. And he playing time on Friday night. Yeah, and he's looking pretty good. So if you're wondering at home, and, and you're a guy who watched college basketball, in college that's a charge. In the pros is not because he was inside the restricted area, and it was an excellent call by the officials. That's why they have that semicircle there. And then it's a 10. Yao's on the bench right now. Medvedenko, Rush, you're looking for Shaq inside. Shaq has gone three of nine. Medvedenko for two. Well, that's what he can do, you know. I mean, if he gets a rhythm, he's had some back. He passes to try to get a feel for what the Rockets might do tonight. And Shaq is the third side to Stanislav Medvedenko. Shaq has his fourth assist. And the Los Angeles Lakers are thinking about ending this series for Jeff Van Gundy and the Rockets. A little bit, you know, as far as 
instead of making easy plays, they try to hurry things up and try to force the issue. Shaq gets a great read right here. He sees the double team coming, and nobody on the weak side picks up Medvenko when he slips to the basket. Rush gets it back. Medvedenko with a rebound. They missed two more, but at least Medvedenko will go to the free throw line. Yeah, you know, you look at the Laker offense right now, they're scoring on hustle plays, loose balls. Their offense is completely out of sync right now, and that is really unusual for Phil Jackson's Laker basketball team. And it's funny, in the interview, when we talked to Phil yesterday, that's what his concern is their offensive execution. He must have known something, Al. He's watching his team shoot 22 percent right now. TNT tomorrow in New Jersey and Detroit begin their series. And then Tuesday on TNT, New Orleans, Miami, that's a game seven. Sacramento, Minnesota on the other side of the He's tried to get him to get up onto his toes, but a big part of it is simply metal. Metal. It's Medvedenko. It was two years ago when you arrived in the right, game. Medvedenko, boy, he, he can't pick, pass up that no, guy. No, he can't. Away underneath. San Antonio, one of 11. Ten straight misses in the quarter. Medvedenko got it. Have been disconnected in San Antonio the lead. I like what San Antonio is doing. They're passing up some of their threes, they're dribble penetrating, and then kicking it back out instead of settling for the first shot. And Videnko. Nine uh, turnovers, but that's a bad sign for Minnesota. Nice ball movement by the Lakers, and Videnko with his first field goal. That's a lead. <laughs> Medvedenko out beyond the arc, steps just inside it, and launches, hits. See, Madsen's going to allow come. Minnesota, but they let the fans get back in the game. The fans were not there early on. That high energy wasn't there from the Minnesota team, but when the Lakers went flat, it allowed everybody to catch back up. Medvedenko, it counts, and the foul. Slava Medvedenko will sit down. Medvedenko who comes in and thinks shot first, this time with the little fadeaway up over the top, a much needed basket by the Los Angeles Lakers. Derek Fisher. Foi na infiltração para o Medvedenko. Beleza de lance para o Lakers, que volta a ter cinco pontos de vantagem. Que bela jogada do Fischer. Fischer precisa de uma melhor presença dentro do garrafão. Vamos ver o Kobe Bryant. Jogada agora, passe rápido para o Medvedenko. Usando a tabela, converte dois pontos de novo o Medvedenko. Belo passe do Karl Malone. Que o Medvedenko entrou bem na partida, fez uma boa marcação. Vamos chegando na marca de quatro minutos agora. Kobe Bryant, jogada com carinho Rush. Medvedenko vai fazer o arremesso, é para dois pontos e ele converte. Oito pontos para o Medvedenko. É, Medvedenko vem fazendo uma grande partida e nessa série ele vem entrando muito bem, dando confiança. do draft, depois de três anos na universidade. Uma atuação realmente memorável aí em sua segunda temporada para o Karim Rush. Vai completar 24 anos de idade. Medvedenko também nessa noite. Tentou quatro arremessos, converteu os quatro, oito pontos na partida. Resta agora saber quem será o adversário. O Detroit Pistons, que está com a vantagem de 3 a 2, ou o Indiana Rush to Medvedenko. And a blocking foul here in the game. For Detroit, the metal poor from Turkey. <laughs> Every time Medvedenko comes in, I, I get a grin and I laugh because he didn't get the memo uh, that he's one of the role players on this team. You know, he, when he touches the ball, there's, it's very likely uh, that that is going up. You know, he, per minute, per 48 minutes, has the third most attempts on this team. It, it's pretty interesting when he comes in the game. Never met a shot attempt he didn't like. He was important the other night, too, when he came off the bench against Minnesota. And he gives the Lakers the lead, and it's the first time in the game. 
Bryant slows it down. Ben Wallace comes all the way out, leaving Medvedenko free again. And sooner or later, he's too good a shooter to miss that many in a row. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things he can do. It's not like he... he... O'Neal. Rebound Medvedenko. Campbell thought he had his block, but he didn't. Foul. You, you know what's really neat? Elton Campbell, the last couple of years, Al, has been a guy that has gone from different teams. A, a lot of people, the whispers was that he has lost his emotion for the game. And I'm watching him play right now like he's a two-year-old kid. He's getting excited. He's playing hard. It's amazing what winning and a chance for a championship will do to players. No question. It's the, the greatest. Move, move, move the ball, move the ball. They lob it in for O'Neal, doubled immediately. Finds Medvedenko in the lane. Gets it back off the miss. And was fouled. Rashid Wallace thinks it should be a jump. And now gets in the face of Medvedenko. Now there's no place for that. That's, that's absolutely wrong for Rashid Wallace to do that. And he should be put in his place. I mean, that should be a technical foul right there. Because that, that essentially is taunting. I mean, he has kept a running conversation all game long. Yeah, now Medvedenko comes up short on the first. Goes up, and there's all kinds of contact there. All kinds of contact. And look at Rasheed Wallace saying, I did not foul you, and you had no business throwing an elbow. But he had no business getting in Medvedenko's face. So Slava Medvedenko will get to the free throw line. He scored only five points so far in the NBA final school this tonight. On the season, averaged 10 points a game in his 38 starts. He did start a number of games, obviously, this season for the Lakers. Mostly comes yeah, off the bench. Right, right, yeah. Just all those games, Medvedenko got those starts. Missed the second, but he did give the Lakers the lead. Running two guys at him. Medvedenko's open, fakes, drives, lobs for O'Neal, who dunks it home. Did Slava Medvedenko just pass the basketball? <laughs> I think so. I think so. I'm not totally sure, but I think he made a terrific play. Second of the night for Phillips. And that Detroit defense still smothering. Wild shot from Devin George. Medvedenko battling and puts it up and in. Eight points. We get set to take a look at the Bud Light starting lineups for you. And with Malone out, a change for the Lakers. Up front, they have Devin George. Medvedenko replaces Malone. O'Neal in the middle of the Prince. And the two Wallaces up front for Detroit. The guards for the Lakers. Gary Payton by Phillips. George has Hamilton on him. Here's Medvedenko. He's free and hits from 19 feet. And that is significant. Every shot he can make makes Rashid Wallace in it. Prince is free from outside. In and out. Payton gets his first rebound. Pushes it up the floor. Medvedenko is free again and hits. So the Lakers who had O'Neal and Bryan is the only guy in double figures in every rebounds and a tremendous performance the other night that was wasted. And Phillips has it knocked away by the Lakers. Medvedenko again. Can he make it three in a row? Yes, he can. So Slava Medvedenko replacing Malone. You know he can give him the offense that Malone can't side. There's a foul here on the Lakers, on Devin George. Yeah, and you notice that third one, Rasheed Wallace came at him. Now, this is the third team foul already for the Lakers. And this is what they don't want, is to get the silly foul. So the Lakers coming out tenaciously on defense. Here's Medvedenko again. This time he's going to dump it into O'Neal, and O'Neal's going to softly put it over to a good defensive play for the steal. I got to tell you, I like Peyton's look tonight. Hey! Bryant goes underneath, loses the ball. No foul is called, and it winds up in Medvedenko's hands for the basket. This is the most points total coming in to tonight's game. He is eight at the outset. 14-7 Lakers. Game away from elimination.
Jackson Okur has seven. Medvedenko will drive to the basket and get fouled on his way to the hoop. You know, in, in a perfect world, if you're Phil Jackson, you would have loved Medvedenko to back it out and take the final shot and just have a four-point set, a four-second differential. But you can't pass up layups right now when you're down 12. Third foul on Okur. Medvedenko makes the first. Well, I've heard of the Tiger Slam. I guess this would be the Davis Slam if, if he gets this. Medvedenko trying to become the first Laker apart from O'Neal and Bryant to go into double figures, and that's a small consolation to Phil Jackson right now because his team is going to go into the locker.